Joe Rogan plays a Bible prophecy from 1965 about the devil. And it blows his mind. Watch till the end to see how much has already come true. The Paul Harvey thing from whenever that was about Maybe the devil. Maybe let's play that. Pull that up because we, I've, I haven't heard that. And I've heard the Bezbanoff thing. We played it like five times at least. It'll blow your mind when you hear this. It's, um, it's not good, but it also gives us a chance to right the ship. It hasn't f***ing hit the rocks yet. Like, we can still come out of this. Let's find a better version. Paul Harvey. If I were the devil. Is this the thing? Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. If I were the devil. If I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness. And I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population. But I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. The... So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old, I would teach to pray after me, our Father which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. Wow. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Wow. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Holy shit. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting pornography. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. What year was that? It was 65, but... Holy... 1965. That's amazing. 65. April 3rd, 1965. Paul Harvey nailed it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. 